the secret to getting more money. I have all the details and what you want to know right here in this video. Let's get right into it. All right, so what we're going to be discussing right here in this video is one of the pages pulled right out of the playbook of the average millionaire and billionaire. We're going to be discussing what these people do to amass such massive fortunes as well as achieve financial freedom. Now, I really enjoy learning about these people simply because I want to know what have people actually done to achieve financial freedom? What have they done to amass such great fortunes? And of course, I always want to learn something from their actual experiences so that maybe I can apply it to my life to better my situation as well, right? I think that's probably why all of us are here watching this video and trying to learn this type of information is because we're trying to figure out what can we do to get more money into our lives. Now, I quickly want to throw this out there. Just because I referred to millionaires and billionaires just now does not necessarily mean that we need to strive to be a multimillionaire, a billionaire, anything like this. If you want to, that's great. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean that we need to strive for that. However, I do want to share with you one characteristic among billionaires and millionaires that they all do that actually leads toward financial freedom and massive amounts of wealth. And again, doesn't necessarily mean that we need to amass $10 million or even a million dollars. Just even an extra thousand dollars a month would be fine for a lot of people, right? So I want to share with you this one characteristic because it is something that is unanimous among all of these people. And ultimately, it is a strategy that unfortunately, uh, a very small percentage of our population does. But therefore, for, I want to point this out to you. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, the secret, right? Well, it's actually not even a secret. Unfortunately, this is not a secret, but rather it is something that only a very small percentage of our population actually does. But if we could get more people to do this, um, financial freedom would actually be something achievable for pretty much everybody. In fact, financial freedom is achievable for everybody, but Sometimes you got to kind of play the game a little bit and figure out what are people actually doing, which again is exactly why I study uh, high income and high net worth people because I want to see what have the people at the top actually done to get there. Not necessarily that I want to be the next Elon Musk with $300 billion of net worth, even though that'd be super cool, right? Um, not necessarily that I want to be that person, but rather I just want to figure out some little tidbits from people who have achieved massive amounts of financial success to see what have they all done? What are some of the tips? What are some of the tricks? What are some of the secrets? What have they applied in their life? And there's one commonality among all of these people that I found. And again, I want to point this out for you right here in this video. However, really quickly before we get into that, if you like these types of videos and this type of content, make sure to subscribe down below as I'm doing tons of research each and every day, boiling it down into these short videos as I truly want to help you out in any way that I possibly can, especially right now as money is tight for the vast majority of our population. Unfortunately, I've been coming across many reports lately that are showing that the vast majority of our population is living paycheck to paycheck right now as prices continue to get away from everybody and um, there's a lot going on. So if you like these types of videos, make sure to subscribe down below. I have all kinds of ideas, tips, tricks, things like that up my sleeve, which I'm excited to share for you right here in videos just like this, as I truly want to help you out in any way that I possibly can, giving you some ideas, giving you some concepts, as well as sharing with you all of this stuff that I'm learning as well along the way. Let's stick together through this and let's all achieve financial freedom, or at least hopefully add a little bit more money into our lives on an ongoing basis, which is essentially what everybody needs right now, right? So anyway, thanks so much. Make sure to subscribe down below and let's jump into this. All right. So like I said, you've probably heard this concept before. It is certainly not a secret, but unfortunately only a small percentage of our population is actually implementing this. It is multiple sources of income. Yes, that's basically what it comes down to. Here's what's interesting. The reports are showing that the average millionaire, which by the way, the average millionaire that you would probably pass on the street, you would probably have no clue that that person is even a millionaire. The average millionaire does not really do anything fancy. They don't drive around in the latest, greatest BMW or Porsche. They don't go around and buy Lamborghinis and, and Ferraris every single day. They don't buy big, you know, 50 foot yachts and sail around on the oceans and lakes and everything. The average millionaire is just like the average person. They're not doing anything special. They're just kind of doing their thing, but they all do have one thing in common. The average millionaire has seven sources of income. 
Now, that's just the average person. One person might have three sources, one person might have 20 sources, but according to the reports, the average millionaire has seven sources of income. Now, does this mean that they have seven jobs? No, they don't have seven jobs. They maybe have one job. That's it. I'm not saying that you should go out and get multiple jobs. That's not the story here. That is not the point. In fact, I would be the last person to tell you to go out and get a job, even seven jobs, okay? Um, I don't know. We can talk about all that in, in a separate video, but I have some pretty strong opinions on jobs. Anyway, let's talk through this because this is actually important uh, to understand. Now, there are multiple different ways that you can implement additional money and income sources into your life. Again, you can go out and buy dividend paying stocks. That's one way to do it. In fact, I, I have other videos here on the channel talking about dividend paying stocks and how I think that's not exactly the best use of money simply because you need to deploy a lot of money in order to get back a very teeny tiny return on that money. However, there's many other ways that you can do it. In fact, you can invest in startups and they can kick back a portion of their revenues. You can invest in rental real estate. You can invest in things like REITs. Again, investing in essentially real estate that gives you kickbacks um, on your investments. You can do other things like affiliate marketing. You can sell things online. If you're really uh, maybe somebody that's like tech savvy and you wanna start selling things on Amazon, that's a very much automated uh, business. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've done a lot of research on it. I've looked into it quite a bit, but again, it's not something that I've really actively gone into, um, but there are many people out there who are very, very successful running Amazon stores where they basically just bring everything in from overseas and they don't even touch anything, but it's all essentially automated. And there's some really good information and some key people out there here online that have some really great information out there that can help you walk through that process if that is something you're interested in doing. But at the end of the day, there's many different ways that you can actually implement multiple sources of income into your life and you can start uh, creating a drip. Now here, this is something that um, I wanna point out as well because this is something that I think a lot of us can possibly get caught up in. As we wanna start implementing multiple sources of income into our lives, we immediately think that, hey, today I'm gonna start it and tomorrow it's gonna start kicking off $1,000 every single day for me, right? No, don't, don't fall into that trap because here's the problem. That is highly unlikely that that's gonna happen, okay? It's just not gonna happen that way. That's why I said you gotta start a drip. And by a drip, I mean a little bit. Maybe, it's, maybe it kicks out 20 cents a day, a dollar a day, $5 a month, $20 a month, things like this. Start the drip because guess what? Just like a leaky faucet, right? Starts out with a drip, drip, drip drip, it turns into a little bit faster of a drip. And then over time, maybe if it doesn't get fixed, it turns into a little stream. Again, if it doesn't turn, if it doesn't get fixed over time, all of a sudden it turns into this massive flow because it hasn't been fixed. Kind of the same thing with multiple sources of income. Focus on one at a time and turn it into a drip. Get the thing going and then start it to, um, you know, get just a little drip out of it on an ongoing basis. Make sure that it has consistency behind it. And then over time, start to scale it up from a drip to a faster drip, into a little trickle, and then into a stream, and then to a faster stream, and all of a sudden get it into a flow, and then ultimately turn it into a raging Nile River. I guess could be an, an analogy, right? <laughs> but that's gonna take a little bit of time. So unfortunately, one of the downfalls that I've seen as I've done more research on this is that many people try to do one of two things. First off, they try to start multiple sources of income all simultaneously, like, okay, I'm committed, I'm gonna start 20 sources of income today, and by tomorrow, they're gonna be throwing off so much money, I don't even know what to do with it, by tomorrow. No, again, that's not how it works. It takes time, but here's what I can recommend. And again, based on the research and based on everything that I've kind of come across and based on some of the downfalls that I've seen from other people trying to implement this, rather than trying to implement too many too fast, try to implement one and get it going just get one, kind of nurture it until it gets going for a while. It could take a month, it could take two months, it could take three or even six months to get even your first flow going. But once that one gets going and it's kind of automated and it starts flowing on its own, then once that one is on its own and you don't really need to tend to it all that much anymore, then you can step back and maybe start implementing another one. Now remember, this is going to be a process that probably takes a couple years to get up and going. This is not something you can anticipate to set up overnight and all of a sudden have passive income by tomorrow. 
I mean, maybe in some very rare instance, maybe that would be the case for some people. Maybe if you're very good on the internet and you know how to market and mar uh, marketing as far as like SEO and all kinds of stuff like this, maybe for the very small percentage of people, you could possibly get something up and going and generating money in a very short amount of time. But for the vast majority of people, it's gonna take some time to kind of learn the ropes, kind of find some of the pitfalls, and then find out what you need to do to actually get that revenue start flowing in. But over periods of time, whether it's three months, six months, a year, three years, five years, something like this, if you're very much committed and start implementing these little flows, these little drips, and then start tending to them until they can get up and going and automated over periods of time, all of a sudden you can start implementing these things. Before you know it, maybe you start out with maybe $5 a week. $20 a month, nice, not bad, right? Well, over time, you start to increase that income. Maybe it goes from $5 a week to $10 a week out to maybe $40 a month. Great, again, you're increasing, right? Well, over periods of time, maybe that flow turns into maybe $100 a week. $400 a month, or maybe even $1,000 a week, $4,000 a month. It'd be absolutely amazing to uh, start something like that. But again, remember, it's gonna take some time to get this going. But once you get a source up and going and it's actually showing to be a little bit automated, it can kind of run on its own a little bit, maybe it takes a little bit of your time every so often to keep it going, that's fine. Maybe then it's time to start another flow, start the next drip, right? Once you get that going, follow the same process. Do not rush anything, get into it, and then start waiting until that thing starts throwing off a little bit of cash, and then you can get into the next flow. But again, remember, this is gonna take you some time, and the worst thing you could do uh, going forward would actually be to actually try to rush this. If you try to rush this, all it's gonna do, you're gonna get frustrated, you're probably gonna give up because you're gonna be trying to focus on way too many things way too fast, and you can't really rush this process. You got to take it slow and ultimately it just focus on how can I get this thing to generate revenue and ultimately what can I do to provide value because that's where income comes from. When you provide value, that's where the income comes from. The more value that you produce, the more your income is going to increase, right? So if you ever wanna figure out a way to actually get more money, all you need to do is ask yourself, what can I do to provide more value? That's all it really comes down to, right? Value, money is exchanged for value, right? So anyway, one of the concepts and one of the little secrets out there between all of the very wealthy people and millionaires, billionaires, and people who have achieved financial freedom, multiple sources of income. And by the way, like I said earlier, I am not suggesting that you go out and get multiple jobs. No, this has nothing to do with working. This has nothing to do with getting jobs. This has things to do with setting up, ideally, passive automated sources of income. So maybe you need to be engaged every so often, that's fine, no problem with that. But if you need to put in a little bit of time every so often to keep this thing going, that's fine. You probably need to do that regardless of what it is. And that's a good thing because you, you typically wanna check in on these uh, sources of income and see what they're actually doing to make sure that every everything is working well, all is operating well, and that they're continued to be profitable rather than forgetting about it and realizing, uh-oh, now it's costing me money and I didn't even realize it, right? So you wanna check in on these things. But there's many different ways that you can actually implement multiple sources of income. But again, this is just a way that the wealthy, as in millionaires, billionaires, and again, people who are financially free actually do implement more money coming into their lives. And again, this is just one of the secrets that's out there, which like I said, it's not even a secret, but unfortunately only a small percentage of people are actually implementing multiple sources of income. So anyway, check it out. Of course, I can always come back and make more dedicated videos talking about this. In fact, I already do have a couple other videos here on the channel talking about multiple sources of income and the power behind this as far as if you're looking for more money right now, don't go out and look for another job. Look at ways in which you can actually implement to get more money flowing into your life passively and most likely automated so that you can kind of step back, maybe work at your job or doing whatever you're currently doing and not spending all day, every single day, just working another job. It's not about trading time for money. It's more like trading ideas and concepts to implement something great, to provide value and ultimately get some money as a result of that. So anyway, like I said, kind of a secret, but at the end of the day, it's not even a secret. It's right out there in plain sight. Everybody can see it. And um, 
Hopefully this video gives you a little bit of ideas, gets you a little bit motivated and a little bit inspired to start looking into some of these concepts. And again, if you start doing this and you start uh, implementing some of these actual multiple sources of income, your life could be completely changed in a matter of time. And again, just because the average millionaire has seven sources doesn't mean that you need to go out and get seven sources of income. If you want to implement two more sources of income, that's great. That's fine. doesn't really matter. You could be going for an extra $500 a month. You could be going for an extra $100 a month. doesn't really matter. The same concepts apply, right? I just wanted to give you that information because that is what we've been finding based on the reports and what the average millionaire has, seven sources of income. Anyway, hope this one helps you out. Again, please leave your comments, your questions, and your feedback down below. Of course, I will continue to come back and give you more details and more information like this. I have a ton of different information up my sleeve, which I'm excited to share with you in these videos. So make sure to subscribe down below, share this video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos right here on the channel. And hopefully those ones will be helpful for you as well. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Enjoy your day. And I'll catch you again later in the next video.